Welcome back to Tips Farm. It's been a while, but uh, we got a new piece of equipment here. A little portable uh, sawmill. I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up. Um, it's not exactly just as you would get it delivered. Typically, these would be up. Real simple. Lower them down. I'm not gonna tighten them down yet. The jacks, they typically are, are stowed up like this and then pinned. You just pull the pin out, drop it down, put that pin back in there. This particular model, there's five legs, two back here, one right here. And then two up at the front where your hitch is. You got this jack right here. You have two more jacks in the middle and the jack that we were already playing with back there. First things first, look the thing over, make sure it's, you know, nothing's damaged. It looks good. For right now, we're gonna leave these in transit bolts in. It keeps the axle saw here just forward of the axle. But before you go to move it, you have to pull these bolts, one on each side, before you can even move this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with getting the center leveled up. Uh, I do have a uh, paver underneath this foot. Um, the ground is real soft here. And I mean, we could have got away with not having it there. I felt a little more comfortable with that particular one. As you notice, none of the other feet have a cinder block under them. These things are supposed to be designed for taking it back to where you're dropping the logs. So realistically, that's unneeded. There is two bubble levels, one in the front, one in the back, but it don't hurt to have more levels. Right now, this side right here is much higher as you can see. So I'm gonna start raising this side over here. I'm gonna get on the other side. I'm actually gonna go just a little over level so I can go on, make sure I have plenty of pressure on this one too. I'll level it completely out with that leg over there. When you're done, make sure you go and flip the uh, handles over. If not, when you're at your lowest spot, the knob will interfere with your blade. So you want to start with the center, get it level first. Uh, as you can see, it gives us our left and right. And out on the ends, it'll give you your forward and back level. we go once you got that make sure you lock down the leg with it now we're gonna go back to the back Ooh. this 
Nate's going to get greased. And fortunately, there is a grease fitting right here. Uh, I'll have to get the uh, grease gun out here in a bit and grease that up. Alright, as of right now, I don't have any weight back here, but I'm really high. So, we gotta move to the front, right the front up. And still a little back end up. We're sliding. quite a bit. That side's up. Let's try this So it appears all three points are level. Level this way. Let's go and check. Fairly level that way. But if we wanted to, we could check all the directions. All these cross members here. But honestly, that's a little overkill because we can't adjust right here. Level. Let's 
take the uh, in transit bolts out. And I really wish there was a place to put these while in operation. Because I have a feeling these things would be really easy to get lost. Like, really, we, we can mount something right here. Just mount them. So, we might have to go and make some modifications later so we don't lose these. about this you can bring it all the way to the back and then check all your levels again take it all the way to the front check all your levels again or you just cut slightly larger and run it through a planner anyway um, yeah that should be good right there Sorry we didn't get the uh, log up here on video. We did use the Mini X, so there's a bunch of ways to go and get a log up onto here. But the very first thing you're gonna wanna do, and if you ask a bunch of other people, we actually have it set up backwards. You should have these on the opposite side that you're lifting the logs onto. Well, we don't really have the room right here. It's whatever. Did we want to roll this down a little further, closer to the blade? No, that's good right here. That's where we were last time. All right. All right, so. Get your, uh, I can't think of the word. Dogs. Yeah, the dogs. Get them set up. So you can actually have the logs. You know, sitting up against them. And then the little locking mechanisms. You just slide it over and you're not gonna be able to get it from that one. Well, you don't think we can turn it back for enough? I think we'll go back through. No. You don't think there's so? no need. No? One's good enough. That's what okay. we did with that first test oh, cut. Yeah, two. No, that was for when we went plank them. Gotcha. All right. Trace now. All right. On this big, on this big red sawmill. You do have to make sure that your engine switch is on for your winch and height control to actually work. As you see, the blade guard's gonna interfere. So you unlock it, slide it out, and then lock that back in place. Uh, get to about the height you want. And, uh, yeah, we're going to cut from there and flip it. 
make sure your fuel is on. Um, we've already had this on, so we don't need it. We shouldn't need to choke it. Got your water cracked open just a little bit. Whenever I turn the brake, release it, let it accelerate, you'll start seeing a little bit of water spread on that plane. We don't want these little teeth standing off because we're now trying to get a nice flat surface to sit up against. And uh, we do actually have our uh, angle wire. No, our, our uh, the logging pole thing to actually twist this. Um, says it should be here in about five days. Unfortunately, we still have to go and do it the old-fashioned way. Kick it in some more. Okay. We're not nice. What? How's it look? <sighs> there we go. <sighs> yeah, we were still having a little bit of daylight down at the bottom. Yeah.
I wouldn't rely on it completely before you go and measure from the frame rails to the blade. How we have this per currently set up, just underneath this top edge mark is lined up with uh, the actual measurement of the blade. So we're going to be using this for some projects. Probably going to be cutting this uh, about three quarters of an inch. It's the thinnest you can get on the very bottom. Oh. You could use that for the door for the chicken coop. Yeah, that's another set of columbia right there, just out of that one tree. Well, yeah. One log. <laughs> the rest of the tree's still down there. Yeah. So, as you can see, setting up a sawmill and operating it. Um, we have a bunch more projects. Um, so if you want to go and see how to measure up like dimensional lumber or anything like that, just put it in the comments. As always, have a great day.